Hi everyone, it's Monica Wahi, your public health and data science coach here. As time passes, more and more of my customers want to analyze data that do not come from primary data collection. You know, like a health survey. Instead, they want to analyze data that come from applications. So when I say data that come from applications, you might have to stop and think about what I'm actually talking about. Maybe you might think of medical records applications or electronic health records applications. You might also think about other kinds of health applications like health tracking applications. It's actually very hard to analyze data that come out of applications. It's so hard that I made a whole online course about it called Application Basics. And if you join my online group data science mentoring program, you will be taking this Applications Basics course as part of the curriculum. Let me introduce you to the course. This is an online crash course in computer applications. It explains exactly what they are, what processes are used to design them, and how teams go about developing them. This course is aimed specifically at people in the public health and healthcare fields who have a background working with data. Some of the data we work with in healthcare come out of applications, such as medical records applications. Also, we use applications like REDCap and SurveyMonkey to collect data. Therefore, it's probably a prudent idea to learn more about how computer applications work and how they impact the data we like to analyze. This course has a few special features that are intended to help you create a foundation of knowledge about computer applications that you can build upon along your data science journey and in subsequent courses. First, this course is chock full of terminology. I will go over a lot of terminology used in data science and I will use it in context so you will be able to use the terminology yourself after you finish this course. Next, I will show diagrams and talk about data flows and pipelines so you can better understand what happens when we get data out of an application and prepare to analyze it. Finally, I realized that the audience for this course is comprised of healthcare data experts. We have background in scientific research and biostatistics. This is definitely not the background of people on application development teams. So the lessons from this course that I want you to learn are applied lessons. I want you to take this knowledge and see where you can optimally insert yourself into application development processes at your workplace or otherwise in your professional life to improve the process. Where can someone like yourself with special knowledge of healthcare and science really help these business teams without such a background improve their application development process and even improve the final product. First, we have chapter one, where I introduce you to what we will be doing in this course. Next, we move on to chapter two, what is an application? In this chapter, I'll explain the basic architecture behind computer applications in a very general sense. I'll show you the components and explain how these basic components interact. After that, in Chapter 3, we move on to looking at how computer applications are designed. Just like with buildings, cars, and furniture, there are philosophies and approaches behind the design of computer applications. I'm going to talk about the various trends in these design philosophies and how they have impacted the computer applications that end up getting designed and developed and we all end up using. Next, in Chapter 4, we talk about actually developing the application after it is designed. We talk about the different ways you can configure application development teams. I also connect how choices made about development team management ultimately impact the final application. Finally, we wrap it up in Chapter 5, where I conclude with a take-home message. The take-home message is not that I want you to complete this course and immediately become an application development expert. No, not that. Actually, the take-home message is that I want to empower you with knowledge and terminology so that you can insinuate yourself into application development teams and processes to improve them and contribute to the overall greater good. This course includes about six hours of content and course activities. 
Each of the main chapters, chapters two, three, and four, deliver you educational information in the format of video, presentation, and text. Each chapter includes a challenge you can try yourself, along with an example of my solution. I post both a text and video explanation of my solution so you can compare. Each chapter also has a quiz at the end, and at the very end of the course, there is a fun optional vocabulary game you can play to make sure you learned all the vocabulary in the course. And don't forget to get your final certificate at the end. If you post it on LinkedIn and tag me, I'll congratulate you. Does that sound like something you'd like to do? Then look for the link to my Applications Basics course in the video description. I'll also include a link you can follow if you are interested in learning more about my data science mentoring program. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have an awe-inspiring day. Thank you for watching this video, which is part of the Public Health to Data Science rebrand program. If you are interested in joining the program, please sign up for a 30-minute Zoom interview using the link in the description.